Yo, what's going on, man? What's going on? What's going on, YouTube? Yeah, so anyway, man, uh, it's, man, it's right out the gate, man. It looks like, I, I, I'm telling you, man, dude, I felt it, man. It was like, uh, like Monday the 19th, January 19th, 2021 or 2020. It just, it just like, when, when, when inauguration day was coming around, man, what was that, that Wednesday? Or whatever. Monday, Monday was the 18th. My bad. Monday was the 18th. Tuesday was the 19th. Wednesday was the 20th. But around like the 20th, man, you can start. You can you can feel it, man. A lot of people who voted for Joe Biden, man, they had like buyer's remorse, and you could feel it. <laughs> you could just feel it, man. You can just feel it, man. And. <laughs> And already, man, right out the block, he's already messing up, man. You get the old immigration thing; he's messing that up. He's uh, he got troops going back into Syria, going into war, you know. But yet, Trump was the tyrant. Trump was the tyrant, man. I'm telling you, man. Democrats, it, they whole argument is all emotional based. There's nothing fact fact based about anything the Democrats say. It's all emotional, emotional, man. It's like women, man. You know, so they're like a bunch of, you know. A bunch of bitches, you know. Let's be real, man. A bunch of bitches, you know. And they did this bitch, bitch and moan. But yeah, they 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 don't resolve anything, you know. That's the difference between, you know, um, a man and a woman. That's why a woman likes a man, cause a man she she bitches and complains, and a man resolves the issue, you know. She she's looking for leadership. And that's what Trump was. Trump was leadership. That's why a lot of women back backed him, cause they they can uh, you know complain about something, but yeah, he'll stay. He, you know he's you know he stayed um, you know stoic. You know he stayed stoic. Never got too emotional, and he just resolved the issue. You get what I'm saying? So they let the women be all emotional and stuff like that, and get caught up in their feelings and stuff like that. And he'll be the guy, stoic guy that uh, puts everything together. Come up with all the ideas and you know and everything like that, and he takes some of the input too. But this guy, Joe Biden, even the plan, even the plan that was in place, right, regarding COVID nineteen, regarding COVID, he's messing that up. He's already messing that up. Trump already had a plan in place, man. I'm telling you, ever since like March of last year, April of last year, he said what was going to happen. Everything he said, everything he said was going to happen happen outside of the uh covid you know uh being affected by the uh, sun and everything like that but that's that's what he was hoping for that's what the experts told him and hey at least he was trying to paint a brighter future right except for this guy saying like we're gonna have a dark winter and stuff like that but we got the vaccinations and like he said man he's like watch, watch and see man after the elections we're going to have all these uh, vaccinations. We're going to have the vaccine out and ready, man. They just don't want me to get the credit. That's why they ain't say, that's why they ain't announced it yet. But I was, hell, I was told we're going to have it in October. But I guess we're not going to have it in October because they don't want to give me the credit. And what ended up happening, right? All these vaccine, all these vaccinations, <laughs> you know, came out and everything like that. Like he said he would before the end of the year. Which everybody thought he was a liar. You know, it's like, oh, it's not gonna happen in the year. He's like, yeah, it's gonna happen. We're gonna make it happen. No, no, don't worry, All right? So listen, to this guy, right? This, this is the guy that said day one he has a plan, right? And he's gonna save hundreds and thousands of lives because um, a lot of American lives is lost is, is Trump's fault, right? And don't trust the vaccine because it's, it's Trump's vaccine. So listen, listen, listen to this clown. If we fail to act, there will be a wave of evictions and foreclosures in the coming months uh, as this pandemic rages on. Because there's nothing we can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months. So you heard that, right? There's nothing, nothing we can do to change the trajectory of, of the pandemic in the next several months. So why are we still in lockdown then? There was nothing we can do. All right? Why do we have to social distance if there's nothing that we can do? Why do people vote for Joe Biden? 
If Joe Biden says there's nothing we can do, we don't have a plan. Right. Why do, why, why do people give Trump such a hard time for, for the handling of the pandemic? This Trump said, look, you're going to have to live your life. It's here. We're just going to have to put in some safety protocols and everything like that. And the governors is just going to have to uh, follow the guidelines of the federal federal government guidelines we put in place. But overall, it's the responsibility of the governors. Because when Trump said, oh, I can do this, I can do that. And the governor's like, no, 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 no. We, we control each state. You know, each state is sovereign. But, you know, it's ran by the governors. And Trump was like, okay, you know, I, I'm here to help. If you need help, I'll help. You know, I'm here for you. But, you know, um, chloroquine, we got chloroquine. They denounced that. You know, they denounced that. He said, like, we have all kind of therapeutics. We can just get out. We, we can live our lives. You know, don't let don't let COVID-19 trap you, man. You know, don't let, let don't let COVID-19 dictate your life. Yes, it's serious. But, you know, we're just going to have to, you know, um, you know, manage it, man. You're just going to have to manage it, man, you know. So it's just like uh, so someone living that has you know a cancer. So it's like a, like someone that has cancer, you know you're gonna, it, um, you know you just you just it's a, it's not an absolute death sentence, but it's things you could do to try to you know fight it and um, you know just stay positive, you know do your therapy or whatever like that, you know take preventive med- preventive measures. And, you, you, you know, there's a good chance you can beat it. You know, there's a chance you can beat it. You know, so, yeah, man, you just got to stay positive, man. And Trump, and Trump just got, like, you know, it's just, it's just crazy, man. He just, he just got bashed for, for being positive, having a positive outlook on life, man. And that's crazy. But this guy is like, oh, there's nothing we can do. But, yeah, he signs a... Um, this thing talk about having a mask mandate and stuff like that. He's not wearing a mask. You know, you have to wear a mask on federal property and stuff like that. He's not even wearing a mask. But like he says, there's nothing, there's nothing, nothing we can do, I guess. All right, man. Let me know what y'all think. All right, bye.